coverage starts now. Police continue to investigate the death of an 18-month-old in Milton. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks in for CAT. First responders say they found the toddler unresponsive in the parking lot of a business on Center Drive last week. Our Lucy Kale has been following this story for us. Lucy, what did you learn? Kiana, we've asked, but police won't confirm the child died after being left in a hot car. But sources tell us that is the case. Experts say in an overwhelming majority of child hot car deaths, it was a tragic accident and was a loving, responsible parent that unknowingly left the child. You know, this is something that nobody thinks can happen to them until it does. Amber Rollins with the nonprofit Kids and Car Safety says hot car deaths can happen to anyone, especially if you're continuing a day-to-day -day routine. You know, if you've got a lot of things going on, you jump in your car, autopilot kicks in, it's going to get you to work. She says parents and caretakers can prevent these tragedies by creating reminders to break through the autopilot mode. Roland suggests parents put a large stuffed animal or another object in the front seat every time you put a child in the car. This is something that you have to do every single time because it is that one time that you're out of routine, you're in a hurry, that tragedies can happen. That's the high risk time. There's always a change in the normal daily routine when these tragedies happen. Checking the back seat every time you walk away from your car is another suggestion. Kids in car safety advocate for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to require manufacturers to put technology into cars that would warn people if there's a child in the back seat, which many cars already have. They say the NHTSA continues to delay the progress of putting those rules in place, but the federal agency has offered other information on kids in hot cars. They say 25% of hot car deaths are when kids get into an unlocked cars and can't get back out. The agency has tracked nearly 1,000 hot car deaths since 1998, or about one child every 10 days. Back to the case in Milton, there are still many unanswered questions. Police have not shared the identity of the child or the circumstances into what led to the death. Investigators at the Chittenden Unit for Special Investigations, which leads cases involving child deaths, says they're keeping details limited to protect the integrity of the investigation. There have been no charges that have been made public. Darren? Lucy, 